update on that Coffee City story, that corrupt town? Yeah, you you said we had something on we this. We do, we do, we do. Here you go. New developments tonight in the KJU 11 investigation of the Coffee City Police Department. Last week, we uncovered the town of 250 people has 50 officers on the force, and more than half of those officers have tainted past. Now, Jeremy Rogowski reports the Coffee City. Our Jeremy. new our new Stossel, yes, Jeremy the, Rogowski. Stoss, our Stossel in waiting. Stossel Jr. Yeah. Council has suspended. Hey, you know what? His name's Jeremy Rogowski. Junior's JR. Let's yeah. just call Junior the, Rogowski Junior. We'll call him Junior. Call him Junior. Yeah, I like that. JR. Police. Chief John J. Portillo is off the job for 30 days. The Coffee Ooh. City Council voted to suspend him pending an independent investigation into what we found. KHEO 11 investigates revealed how Portillo routinely hired officers who had been suspended, demoted, terminated, or dishonorably discharged from their previous law enforcement jobs for a wide range of misconduct or even criminal charges. We also reported on a profanity-filled rant the chief launched at a Harris County constable while he was working an extra security job in Houston. And we uncovered how Portillo failed to list on his job application this active DWI case out of Florida in which he failed. That was to crazy. Court. Yeah. From the looks of it, you weren't being truthful on the application to which you hold the job this day. Chief? Yeah. I remember <laughs> that when he had to reboot him. Chief, sir? I understand. I mean, but that's not what it is. I'm not, not being truthful. <coughs> I'm just not yeah. telling the whole truth. I just I put down everything that was in my mind when I filled out my application to the best of my knowledge. Our investigation also revealed how Coffee City warrant officers didn't even work in Coffee City. That was crazy. They're working remote in Houston. Yeah. And on get, commission. On commission. They stayed home in Houston, spending their time on the phone, calling people with outstanding traffic warrants and collecting failure to appear fines. After we question that's got to be like the best gig in the world, because like yeah. it's one thing to be like a col you know, collection agency. And you're like, you owe 58 bucks from, you know, Spectrum from four years ago. People yeah. would be like, get fucked. But that's got to be the easiest collections gig because it's like, yeah, listen, uh, you're going to go to jail or you can give me 200 bucks. You know what I mean? Like, that's got to be I'll easy. Go, I'll, go, I'll go to jail. <laughs> Sorry. Or T.O. about the program. Is that legal? I believe so. The chief suspended the warrant division. We got all the Portillo you know, on the my phone. My line would the be in that call center, Mersh. My line would be, do you know who Judge such and such is? Yeah, he's the guy who signs all the warrants for us. <laughs> <laughs> Dude. Dude, this it guy also, so there, there is something extremely unlikable about just him, right? Like it's something about his demeanor. Oh, the chief? Yeah. The yeah, Portillo guy? Yeah, yeah, very yeah. off-putting about him. Yeah declined to comment about the suspension. And that's not the only shakeup in the Coffee City ranks. Sergeant Cody Welch resigned from the department. We don't know why. Welch oh, he went, yeah, because he went to WWE. Yeah, he did. Declined to comment. Jeremy Rogowski, KHOU 11 Invest.